Yeah, you know, uh, K uh, Gary Connell's uh, family, Corey Connell's family, I'm sorry, used to come to Edgewater High School every Friday night, Lisa, to, to watch him play on this field. They said they only found out this morning that he was actually going to be honored during tonight's game. They were here to see it tonight, and they say so is Corey. I miss him every day. I miss him. More than two months later, Tara Connell says the pain of losing her son is still very fresh. This is what he loved to do. He loved to play football, loved football. 21-year-old Corey Connell was wrapping up a night out dancing with his girlfriend at Pulse Nightclub on June 12th when gunman Omar Martin stormed in. Connell was shot and didn't survive. Tonight, Connell's spirit touched every player on the Edgewater High School football team. Players wore a patch bearing his initials, CC, on their left sleeve. Each one of them hand-stitched by a group of volunteers. Corey's family watched the game from just on the other side of the end zone. Corey was my son. Yeah. Still is my son. But, but coming back to a football field, you know, where, where he liked to play, it, it, one of his favorite sports, you know. Yeah, it touches home. It touches home. It makes me know that he's, like, here with me. And, you know, to see, like, the guys that are going to play, it's going to bring me back to, like, when I was in ninth grade, my brother was playing football. At halftime, a special tribute. Edgewater's principal presented Corey's family with his jersey number 81. We do have good days. We do have bad days. Obviously, this is an awesome day. He is looking down on us right now yeah. with a big, huge smile, yeah. putting his arms around this whole community yeah. that he was blessed to be a part of. And now we're blessed to be a part of what he has done for this community. And she says what he has done for this community is bring it all together. And she's talking about Orlando, but she says even more specifically, she's talking about College Park. And Lisa, she says what made tonight's uh, event more emotional for her was yesterday would have been Corey's 22nd birthday. Mm. We're live at Edgewater High School tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Lisa. All right, Eric, thank you.